Hello, Liberty Kids friends. I hope you are all having a great day. I miss you all so much. Um, I wanted to create a little time of reading stories to you all. Stories that are um, about Jesus, about God, about just how wonderful he is and his creation and the gospel. So tune in and let's see what we're reading today. Okay, this book is called Let There Be Light by Danielle Hitchin Art by Jessica Blanchard. This is an opposites book talking all about God's wonderful creation. Quiet. Loud. Can you be quiet? Okay, now be really loud. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. And God said, let there be light. Genesis 1, 1 through 3. Dark. Light. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. John 1, 1 through 4. Above, God established the clouds and fixed securely fountains of the deep. He gave its, the sea its boundary so the waters would not over, overstep its command, his command. Proverbs 8, 28 through 29. So we have above, below. Wet and dry. The Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands formed the dry land. Psalm 95, 3 through 5. Day and night. Can you go to sleep? Okay, wake up. Go to sleep. Wake up. <laughs> the Lord who gives sun for light by day and fixed and the fixed order of the moon and the stars for light by night. The Lord of hosts is his name. Jeremiah 31, 35. Empty. In trees, the birds build their nests. The stork has her home in the fir trees. In wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Here is the sea, great and wide, which teems with creatures innumerable. Psalm 104, 17, 24 through 25. So we have empty, and then he made it full. So many animals. Large and small. Then God commanded... Let the earth produce all kinds of animal life, domestic and wild, large and small, and it was done. Genesis 1, 24. What's your favorite animal? Alone. Together. Who knows who this is? And this? Did you say Adam and Eve? That's Adam and Eve, the first people. Then the Lord formed the man of the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living creature. Then the Lord God said, "It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him." Genesis 2, 7 and 18. Over under You have given Man, dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. The beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens, and the fish of the sea. Psalm 8, 6 through 8. Over. Under. Work and rest. God saw everything he had made, and behold, it was very good. In six days, the Lord made heaven and earth, 
the sea and all that is in them and rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Genesis 131 and Exodus 20, 11. God made such a beautiful earth for us, didn't he? All right. Thanks for listening, guys. Join us next time.